Hi everybody, Cynthia with Swan Soap and Such. And I'm here to do a YouTube collaborative with 65 soapers at last count. And we're doing a fall into autumn. And there's different groups and I'm in the group making orange and pumpkin and soap. So let's go and we'll make some soap. Hi everybody. I have all my oils all melted and they are at um, a temperature of 82. And my lye, which has been ready, I'll take the top off and the temperature of my lye, as you can see here, has a slight yellow color because I put sugar and salt in there. And the temperature is 76. So it's not perfect, the same temperature, but it's good. So we're going to go and pour this lye water down the stick blender to avoid splashing. Okay, it's good. I'll put the top back on that container. Okay, and I will stick blend this. <laughs> Okay, we've already reached emulsification. I have no more oils on the top. That was very quick. So we're going to split our batter up. And I have here some organic turmeric with, it's separated a little, but the oils are in there. I have the soap oils in there. I used about, um, two teaspoons of turmeric and um, and three tablespoons of oil so and it's the soap oil so it's I'm not super fatting with this oil so we'll pour some of our soap mixture in here Can you see that yeah We want a lot of it of this color. I might have to make some more, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we'll put that aside for a moment. And here I have spirulina. So it's going to be a nice, hopefully a nice green color. It looks very dark and black right now. But hopefully that will turn out nicely and we'll pour some of that in there. Okay. And I'm going to have some plain soap left over. I'm going to grab my paper towel here. So we've got some mess. We want to clean up. We don't want to have any lying, lying around, you know. Okay, so we'll get our stick blender and we will blend our spirulina. I'm just going to stick blend it, so I'll put this over on the side. Let me get those air bubbles out of my top of my stick blender. <laughs> That's perfect. It's just what I was looking for. And, and what I have here is the fragrance oil. Let me just put the lid on it just so I don't spill it right at the moment. And I put kale and clay, sorry, kale and clay in down there. This is a, a sandalwood 
and um, a little bit of cinnamon leaf. Okay, so I'm going to put some in here, a good chunk of it, and we'll mix that in. all set. I'll put that over to the side. I'll bring my turmeric over. It's kind of full. I should have kept it in the other container, perhaps. Let's see what color we get here. Ooh, isn't that gorgeous? I think we have enough turmeric here that we can... Oh, I want to leave that because I want to have regular soap. So I want to see what the difference is. So, sorry, I'm not talking loud enough. So I brought you back and this set up like a rock. And so now I'm going to have to mix it with my batter that I don't have any scent in. And hopefully I can loosen this up it went like a brick but there's always things that you can do so there's always challenges and so we'll see what we can do we'll get this soap in here and I think I'll just mix it by hand see if I can't mix it it's pretty solid good thing I had this left over I was going to put the turmeric in it but I guess not The turmeric didn't set up half as bad as this. I need to get my whisk out. I'll have a metal one I need to work on those lumps and bumps. Okay, well, I was going to do a little swirl in here. I better get anything on it. So, <laughs> let's see if you can see. Okay. I'm going to put some orange in here. I'm just going to blop it all in. I'll get my spatula on this. I know you can't see. Let's see if I can turn. I can't turn it around. I'm right handed and you're the only place I can put that. So it's falling over the edge. Okay. Scrape out my bowl. Get this little drip out. Get it back in there, you all. Okay, so I'm not going to swirl this a lot, but a little bit, because I need to pour it immediately. Get all the soap down to the bottom, or down to the, where everything else is. Okay, and I'm just going to go around a few times. That's it. And we'll pour it. And we'll bring over our... Let's see how we're doing with this. Of course, it's set up like a rock, too. Okay, well, hopefully this will pour. I was going to do something in between, but um, we don't have time for that. So we're just going to have to pour it in here. And just pour it and pour it. I think it's going to be able to go in there without any need of me doing much with it. Can get it all in there. Of course, I have some lovely things to go on top, which will be delightful. Sorry about my head getting in the way. We need some more over here, I think. So, I think I'll bang this soap down and bring you guys back. 
Okay, so I waited about seven minutes and I have some some embeds that I want to put on top, so I thought we'd get them out and see if we can't put some on. So I want to get you so you can see. So I have these leaves and I'm going to try to get them in each bar. I'm just going to try and cover the top. I know I'm going to end up having to cut these, so it really doesn't matter which way that I put them. They're all going to get cut, so we'll just put them on the best we can and see how it goes. I did take some mica and tried to paint on them with dry mica. First with the wet and some brown, which you'll see there. Uh, but I don't know, I didn't like the brown, so I went to Red Vibrance from Nurture Soap and it was delightful. So I did these two days ago and I kept them in uh, this plastic bag. And uh, so they kept soft and they're going to sink in. So they just make it a fall, fall into autumn soap. And I did not put any fragrance in these. And these are melt and pour, clear melt and pour. And I used, here we go. And I used um, the Tangerine Dream from Mad Micas to make these. So that was delightful. So these are really wanting to be on the soap. They're like, send us to the soap. Sure, they're getting in there pretty good. <coughs> and arbitrarily, we'll have these little brown ones go in here. And they aren't brown, but they have brown painting on them. But that's fine. As you can see, I don't have any markings, so I don't know where the soap's going to cut. So. They're going to end up just getting cut. So there's no rhyme or reason, as you can see, where I'm putting these. I'm just getting them in there. That one's in there. It wants to stay right where it is. And I don't know if you can see or not, but these are quite cute. I mean, they have um, a, a tilt um, on the sides. They're kind of cute. Kind of thick. But that was the mold, and I wanted to go with it, so. I've got some nice red flowers here. But you can't see me now, I'm too far up. This is a pretty large mold. This is um, eight pounds and um, it's delightful. Can I get another one in there? Yes. Can I have a skinny one? Yes. Let's use one of these. Okay, well, fall into autumn. I think I I got some autumn going on here with these nice orange leaves. Okay, guys, I'll bring you back for the cut. God bless. Hi, everybody. Brought you back for the cut for our 2019 YouTube fall into autumn. So, let me make sure I got this lined up right. I got my sample in the front here. Good. 
I'm going slowly because I've got these embeds. And off we go. And pull once in the middle. And that's what it looks like. And another one. And another one. Here we go. We had a little swirl out of that. You know it seized up on us. Very nice. Turmeric and spirulina and some leaves on top for for a nice fall soap. Okay, well, that's got a little more swirl in it. One more sample. There's that sample. End piece. And another swirl. Yeah, they're all pretty much going to be the same. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, guys. God bless.